All right, so you guys have been asking for an update for about a couple weeks now. And every video, someone's been asking me to do an update. So today we're gonna be talking about, you guessed it, the corn. See, the corn's doing pretty good. But in all reality, here are the calves. We uh, went and bought some more. I don't know how much the first batch was, but we're up to about 33 now. And we got this side completely filled. We've got calves over here. So they're doing pretty well. We haven't had any losses or anything like that. And as it turns out, one of the calves that we bought is one of our subscribers. Pretty sure it's this one. Biggest one in here. If not, if not the biggest, the second biggest. They're pretty happy. Uh, before long, we're gonna be weaning off a couple because it will have been about six weeks that they're in here and he is ready to go now he's absolutely huge so yeah travis and i are going to go through and start feeding them in a little bit here and i'll show you guys our little daily routine that we got going on so let's get started So we got the north side of the barn all fed and I'm going to clean up these bottles and I'm going to sanitize the nipples and then I'm going to refill them and we're going to feed the south side of the barn. And while we're feeding the south side of the barn, then someone else is going to start going through and scraping off the bedding uh, that needs to be scraped off and then we're going to go through, put down some lime to dry up some of the wetness there and then we are going to put up, put down some uh, straw from up in the bar. So I'm going to start sanitizing.
Travis went through and he grained all of them. We have a mixture of corn and calf feed that we get from the local feed store. And we are mixing that up and we're giving it to them. Some of the calves have these bottles. They're like bottles, but they're for dispensing feed. They work awesome. So they suck on that every now and then. And they get their feed that way. Or we put it in a bucket for these guys. Just depends. So Travis is going up in the haymow to get straw and he's gonna throw a straw down and I'm gonna carry it down for the calves and bet them. We do this twice a day and uh, it doesn't really change, the routine doesn't really change much morning and night, so. Yeah, it's basically what we do now for these calves. There seems to be a misconception about what we are buying the calves for. Uh, some people think that we're using them for veal and this we aren't using them for veal. Um, I think I speak for everyone here when I say that we wouldn't really feel right doing veal with these calves. Um, there's just something about eating a baby animal that uh, sets us off a little bit, especially if we were to make it for ourselves. If we've been handling them, it's something different. But, yep. Uh, these aren't for veal. The, we, what we're going to do with them is we're going to raise them up to 500 pounds and we're going to sell them there to the, the sales barn. Or we're going to sell them at the sales barn and they are going to be finished out by someone else. Uh, someone else is, will come through and buy them and uh, take care of them that way. any misconceptions that might have been out there about the battle calves um, yeah it's basically everything I will be doing more videos on the calves uh, as they grow so don't be worried about that um, I'm not just gonna edit here we got a long way to go with them so I'll probably do some stuff on letting them outside because they always love being let outside for the first time after getting in the barn so yeah Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All How Farms Work. So I'll see you next time.